This is question four. Here we're given a trapezium and we're told that the slanted sides of the trapezium are five, that the height is four, and that the parallel lengths are 2x minus three and 2x plus three. We're told that all the measurements are in centimetres and that the area of the trapezium is 18 centimetres squared. We're asked to calculate the numerical value of the perimeter of the trapezium. So to work out the perimeter of a shape, I'm going to need to add all of the sides together. Now, the problem that I've got is that I don't know what the length of these two parallel sides is going to be. However, the fact that I'm told that the area of the trapezium is 18 centimetres squared means that I can create a, an equation which will help me solve this. So, first of all, I'm going to write out the formula for the area of a trapezium which is half of A plus B multiplied by H, where A and B are the lengths of the two parallel sides and H is the height. So what I can then say is that half of the two parallel sides added together, so half of 2x minus 3 plus 2x plus 3 multiplied by the height, which is 4. That when I work this out, when I half the length of the two parallel sides added together and multiply it by 4, that that will give me an area, that will give me an answer of 18. So I have now got an equation which I can then solve. So in order to solve this, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy up uh, the part in the brackets, so the two parallel sides added together. And what I can see is that this is going to give me 2x plus 2x, 4x, and then negative 3 plus 3. Well, they are going to cancel each other out. And so what I'm left with is half of 4x multiplied by 4. Uh, sorry, multiplied by 4, which gives me 18. So half of 4x multiplied by 4. Let's tidy this up as well. So half of 4x would be 2x. 2x multiplied by 4 would give me 8x. And that that is equal to 18. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm now going to just figure out what x will be. So if 8x is equal to 18, that means that x itself will be 18 divided by 8, which is going to give me 2 and 2 eighths. So how many eighths fit into 18? 2 with a remainder of 2 eighths. So I've got 2 and 2 eighths, which I can also say is 2 and 1 quarter. Or I can then just say that this 2 and 1 quarter well, what is one quarter as a decimal? I can say that two and one quarter is the same as 2.25. So I've got 2.25 as my value for x. Now what I'm going to do to calculate the numerical value of the perimeter of the trapezium, now I know that x is equal to 2.25. Well, now I can just substitute that value in and that will tell me what the actual lengths of those two parallel sides are. And then I can just add all the lengths together to give me the perimeter. So this first one, well, 2 times 2.25 minus 3. So 2 multiplied by 2.25, that's going to be 4.5 minus 3, which equals 1.5. And then this one down the bottom is going to be 2 times 2.25 for 4.5 plus 3, which gives me 7.5. Okay, all that's now left for me to do is to add each of these numbers together, add each of the side lengths together, and that will give me the perimeter. So 7.5 plus 1.5, that's going to give me 9 and then plus 5, plus 5, so 9 plus 10, the perimeter is going to be 19. 
um, and that must be centimetres. It tells us here all measurements are in centimetres, so my perimeter is going to be 19 centimetres.